guys, so today I'm going to be sitting down and playing with some new products. You might already see one of the new products in the background. I very generously received in the mail the new Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powders. I'm so excited to get stuck straight on into them. I also have, I should have probably got this before I started filming, but I also have the Coral Obsessions, Coral not Coral, um, Gemstone Obsessions palette that you guys have been asking me to do a look on. So I'm going to be using that today. I'm going to do something purple focused and I'm going to be really annoying and use two other palettes in conjunction with it because I need these other palettes to sort of get my matte shades. So if you guys didn't know, this, um, excuse me dogs, I can hear them barking. If you guys didn't know, this palette is actually all shimmers, foils, whatever you want to call them, as you guys can see there. So there's absolutely no mattes in this palette. It is designed to be paired with like all the other palettes. So it's essentially like a topper palette. So it's to finish your eye look. So you will need to use it in conjunction with other palettes if you want matte shades. Obviously, if you guys like to use all shimmery colors on your lids, you can go for your life. Um, I personally don't. I like to use mattes in my outer V and my transition it's kind of like it's like the the norm but I mean there's no rules to make up so just do what you guys want to do I'm going to do my full face just so if anyone doesn't want to see full face you know I'm doing a full face of makeup so without further ado let's just get stuck straight into it so today to prime I'm going to use my my usual very predictable my hangover primer this is my favorite also if you're a new face um hi my name's Hannah and I'm obsessed with Huda Beauty it's um, it's getting kind of bad how obsessed I am, but I just can't get enough of her. So today I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation. However, the shade I have is a little bit too dark for me. So you guys will notice that my neck is darker than my face because I am fake tan. But this shade is still just like the slightest bit too dark. So I'm going to use one pump of that mixed with one pump of my Fiji NARS Naturally Radiant foundation. I love mixing foundations. I actually haven't done it in ages. I used to mix my foundations all the time. And I'm just using my Sigma 3D HD blender to blend my foundation out. And you guys can use code HANA at checkout with Sigma and that'll take 10% off your orders. For concealer, I am just going to go in with my if I can get the right side of it, my Tarte Shape Tape. This is the shade Light Neutral, I believe. Yep, Light Neutral. So I'm just going to use my Fenty Match Stick in the shade Mocha and I'm taking my Extreme Structure Contour F04 brush and I'm just like actually doing this <laughs> because I don't like drawing it straight on my face just because it kind of drags the foundation sometimes. And this is when she realized she fucked up. I feel like that doesn't look very nice. I've only used this like twice. I like the colors good, but it just does not blend easily. I'm just going to take my Benefit Hula Light. This is my favorite bronzer. As you guys can see, I've hit pan well and truly because it's my most loved. And I'm taking my F05 contour brush and I'm just going over the matchstick cream product that I used. And I'm also going to do my hairline. Okay, now it's time to bake. I'm so excited. So as you guys can see, there is a bunch of different shades. We've got translucent, we've got cupcake, pound cake, banana bread, blondie. Um, what is that one? Kind of, <laughs> I can't say that one. I'm sorry guys, I butcher everything. Cinnamon bun, coffee cake. So obviously you've got all different depths of colors for different skin tones. I am thinking I'm either going to be cupcake or pound cake. Like I want something that's gonna be brightening so I don't wanna use translucent. But I think one's pink and one's yellow. Yeah, I think pound cake is yellow. I think cupcake is pink. So I think I'm gonna use pound cake because I use yellow base foundations and concealers so it might look a little bit funny. If I use a pink, um, how do we open this? Oh, you twist. Oh, I love the like, fishing of it that's so good yeah look I think I'm definitely going to use 
pound cake. So let me just put this one away. So as you guys can see, this is a packaging. So it's a plastic container, just like the actual foundation. I know a lot of people said they didn't like the plastic foundation container, but I think this is just amazing for travel because you're not going to smash it and it's not too heavy, but it still feels like really high quality acrylic. And as you guys can see on the back, you have like a little instruction thingamabobby Bobby, and you've got the shade name. Oh, I'm so excited to dip into it. So the lid like twists off you guys can see that's what it looks like so it has like a sift thing in the top it smells like the foundation so it has that real sort of floral scent not my most favorite fragrance in the world but when I use the foundation the fragrance tends to disappear after a little while so hopefully it does the same with the powder. So I'm just going to go in with my tapered F35 brush, which is what I always use my under eyes. I don't typically like to bake my under eyes. I prefer to just lightly set them, but then I like to bake other areas of my face, like my T-zone and around my chin and like down around under my cheeks. Oh, my contour is so patchy. I really regret using that Fenty Match Stick. It looks gross. Damn it, that's so annoying. Ooh, look at that powder. Looks really nice and fine. Oh, I love the net thing, so it's kind of like squishes down when you pat into it. And that is the perfect color for under my eyes. So now I'm just going to use my Sigma 3D HD blender and I'm just going to dip that straight in. In summertime, I like bake nearly my whole entire face because it just makes your foundation last so much longer. And I love how it comes with the little plug that you can put back in so that you don't get powder all through your lid. That's so good. So I'm just going to quickly jump off camera and pop my brows on and I'll be right back. Okay, back with brows on. I swear it's like the worst thing. I hate doing my brows and they never look amazing no matter how long I spend on them. They're just... Ugh. I hate brows. Anyway, I'm going to brush off the rest of my powder on my face. I'm going to use the F30 powder brush. I already brushed it off my forehead because it was getting in the way. I mean, my face is looking good. Like, the powder isn't cakey in the slightest. It's super fine, so it's not going to make your foundation look cakey or anything like that at all. Cool. And then for blush, I'm going to use my favorite. It's not even there. This is my all-time number one favorite bl 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 blush, getting tongue-tied. It is New Romance by MAC. And I'm taking it up into my bronzer and contour a little bit just because I'm a bit patchy. So hopefully that'll make it look a little bit more seamless. So I'm going to take the Urban Decay um, Eyeshadow Primer Potion in the original shade. And I'm just taking my P86 brush to blend it out. This will just help to keep my eyeshadow in place all day. It'll help prevent it from fading and also help prevent creasing. So I always like to use a powder to set my lid. So I am going to use Hound Cake again. And I'm just going to take a really light dusting of that to set my eyelids with. I'm just going to take my 3D HD blender again and a bit of the powder on the very edge of the sponge and I'm just going to pop it a little like build up a powder like right here so if I get any fallout at all I can brush it away. Okay so now time for eyeshadow. I'm so excited that I just can't hide it. So I'm going to start off by taking my Desert Dusk palette. I might just use this and not use the Electric Obsessions just so it's a little bit easier for everyone to follow. So these are the two palettes I'm going to be using today. And I'm going to start off by using, as always, my E40 Tapered Blending Brush. And I'm going to take the shade Blazin, which is this really nice orange shade. And I'm just gonna blend it through the entirety of my crease 
right into the inner corner, right out to the outer corner. I just like, I just need to listen to Drake's album right now while I'm filming this, honestly. I just, I just, I just, I just need to. So now I'm going to go in with my E25 blending brush, which is a smaller blending brush, and I'm going to be taking the shade Amethyst, which is that really beautiful purple just there, and I'm going to run that all through the exact same area, but just a little bit lower down, and I'm hoping I can build up like the intensity so it gets quite deep. So we'll have to see how that goes. Okay, so now we're going to cut the crease. I'm going to use Tarte Shape Tape again. This is in the shade Fair Neutral this time, so it's a really light concealer, and I like using it for cutting my crease. So we're cutting our crease so that we create like a little bit more of a defined line so that the shimmers stand out more. So all I do is I just simply put a tiny bit of concealer on my lid, and then I just like to take my F70 concealer brush and just blend it across my lid up into my crease. Okay, so that's both eyes done. Now we're going to go in with some shimmers. I'm going to use my E57 Firm Shader Brush and I'm going to start with, um, I guess I should probably start with the lightest color and then go into the darkest because I think I want to use the same brush for it all. So I'm going to start off by using this shade in my inner corner. That has such a pretty reflect. It's nearly like reflecting blue. So I'm just sort of patting that on the first like quarter of my eye. And then I'm going to go in with this second purple shade, which is that one there. And I'm going to pop that all over the center of my lid. <sighs> These have like the most prettiest reflex. Wow, that's so nice. And then I'm going to take this middle shade purple, I think, and put that on the outer part of my eye. We'll just see how that looks. I'm going to kind of blend it into the center. I really, oh, I really like that purple. I'm just kind of like blending that middle shade purple a little bit <laughs> over all the colors because I really like that purple. Gives it kind of like a nice gradient anyway. I'm going to take my Urban Decay Heavy Metal Liner in the color Distortion, which as you guys can see is like a multicolored glitter liner, and I'm going to line my crease with it because I just feel like it ties together a cut crease so nicely. So now I'm just going to do my lower lash line, and I'm going to start off with the orange from the Desert Dusk, so the shade Blazing, and then going in with Amethyst. And I'm just going to use an E20 short shader brush. Sorry for the weird voiceover in this little bit. I forgot to tell you guys what I was doing. I'm just dusting off that little bit of Easy Bake Powder from under my eyes, and then I'm going in with the Quick Flick, which is the most awesome liner product I've ever, I've ever used. So I'm using the largest size, which is the 12 millimeter, and it's like a liner stamp, and it's how I get perfect wings each and every time. Okay, so I just put some lashes on off camera. They are the Backstage Lashes in Chelsea. And I'm just going to pop on some lippy, so I'm going to use just my Colourpop Skimpy Lip Liner. It's the nude lip liner I always use. And I'm going to use the shade Myth from MAC. So now taking my Anastasia and Nicole Guerrero highlighter kit, I'm going to take the shade Glow Getter, which is this one here. And I'm just going to top my lipstick with the Marc Jacobs Sugar Sugar Nude Lip Gloss. So guys, this is the finished look. I am obsessed with how it turned out. Purple is one of my favorite colors, and I just think this looks so pretty. And the shimmers from the Gemstone palette are just super pigmented. They have really beautiful, like, duochrome reflex, and I just think they look stunning on the eyes. I'm, I'm seriously in love. And then the actual um, baking powders 
are just amazing. They're so nice and fine. I really do like the color pound cake for myself personally. And I will also use sugar cookie, which is the translucent at some point in time. And I just think they're a really nice formula and I like the packaging and the actual like the element in it, how like you can put the lid on without it getting all in the actual um, top lid, if that makes any sense at all. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. I'd love to know what you guys think of these color combinations. Do you like it? Even though I'm wearing like camo and purple, I feel like it kind of goes. I feel like I look very bold right now, but you guys know I'm I'm a bit of a fan of some bold makeup. So this kind of looks similar to like a couple of other looks I've done in the past, but I just... I just can't get enough. So I think my contour ended up turning out okay, even though it was really like chunky at the start. I think it looks all right now. So hopefully it looks all right on camera. But anyway, I'm done. Let's stop talking. So thank you so very much for watching. And I'll be chatting to you guys in the comment section. Bye.